ನೃತ್ಯ ಗಣಪತಿ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಡಾನ್ಸ ನೃತ್ಯ ಗಣಪತಿ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಅ ಗೋಡ್ ಅ ನೂಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಮೋದಕ ಹಿ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಲ್ಪ ವೃಕ್ಷ ಟ್ರೀ ಎಪಿಟಮೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಯೂಬರೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಾಯ್ Another form is explained in the Mudgala Purana is a Nritta Ganapati. Nritta in Sanskrit means dancing, the dancing Ganapati. When we dance, when we are in happy mood, then only we dance. It is a celebration. Dance is a celebration. And the students of dance, music, art, they have to worship this Nritta Ganapati form. Uradva Ganapati Seated with one of his shaktis on his left knee Uradva Ganapati is the elevated lord of golden hue in his six hands he holds a sprig of paddy a lotus the sugarcane bow an arrow his ivory tusk and a blue water lily more form is said as urdhva ganapati urdhva is higher so higher thoughts like yogic thoughts getting salvation eternal bliss these are the it is called in sanskrit as a urdhva by worshiping this ganapati we can get eternal bliss happiness and also even salvation because very higher level of worship or uh, uh, when you worship the lord the higher level of the benefit is to get the salvation well this festive season we wanted to enlighten you about the various forms of ganesha that you could worship we showed you 16 forms of the god and now get set to see the 16 other forms of ganapati bappa starting with ekakshara ganapati ekakshara ganapati ekakshara of single syllable is three eyed of red complexion and attire crescent moon on his crown he sits in lotus pose on the mushika offering the boon giving gesture he holds a pomegranate a noose and a gourd ekakshara ganapati is one more form explained in the mudgala purana ekakshara means in sanskrit one syllable one letter the one letter is om omkara whatever you worship whatever form you worship the god wherever you worship a very important is start with the syllable om the omkara is very important in hindu theology varada ganapati varada ganapati the boon giver with prominent third eye of wisdom holds a dish of honey the noose and the gourd and encloses a pot of jewels in his trunk his shakti is at his side and the crescent moon adorns his crown normally people used to say that uh, man proposes god disposes because we think about one but uh, the what is happening will be different so whatever we need that is not available in this world to get what we desire and that should happen how it happens by the grace of shri varaganapati vara means in sanskrit boon by his boons by his mercy by his blessing definitely we can achieve what we want in our life triakshara ganapati Triakshara Ganapati the lord of the three letters a u n m comprising om is golden color and has whisks in his big floppy ears he carries the broken tusk a gourd a noose and a mango and is often seen grasping a sweet modaka in his trunk Trikshara Ganapati is also one of the form of 32 classical ganapatis explained in the Mudgala Purana the trikshara means a three syllable or three letters 
that is already we have explained ekakshara ganapati in the last uh, uh, forum of ganapati last uh, uh, one and then the, the next one is trakshara ganapati shipra prasad ganapati shipra prasad ganapati the quick rewarder presides from a kushagras throne his big belly symbolizes the manifestation of the universe he holds the noose a goat a task a lotus a pomegranate and a twig of the wish fulfilling tree shipra prasad ganapati is a one more form of 32 classical ganeshas explained in the shastra shipra ganapati we have seen already this is a shipra prasad the prasada uh, means the mercy we are getting the lord's compassion by meditating upon him kshipra is a fast rapidly we get his uh, mercy on us that is very important haridra ganapati haridra ganapati the golden one dressed in bright yellow vestments sits calmly on a posh regal throne along with his task and a modaka he wields a noose to hold the devotees close and a sharp goad to spur them onwards Haridra Ganapati is the other one more form explained in the shastras there are few ganapatis specially they are for this black magic here haridra ganapati is also worshiped by the tantrics this is a, a satvika rajasa tamasa i have already said that it is thamasa puja or tantrik shakta puja they worship the form of haridra ganapati ekadanta ganapati ekadanta of a single task is distinguished by his blue color and sizable belly the attributes of this idol are an axe for cutting the bonds of ignorance prayer beads for meditation a laddu sweet and broken right task shrishti ganapati Riding on his docile and friendly mouse, Shristi Ganapati is a lord of happy manifestation. This active god of red complexion holds his noose, a goat, a perfect mango and his tusk representing selfless sacrifice. There is another form is explained in the Mudgala Purana is called Shristi Vinayaka. Shristi is a creature. Vinayaka you know. Shristi Vinayaka means the vinayaka who is responsible responsible for or who is the cause for all this creature he is the lord of this creature uddanda ganapati uddanda ganapati is the bold enforcer of dharma and the laws of being his 10 hands hold a pot of gems a blue lily a sugar cane a mace a lotus flower a spring of paddy a pomegranate a noose a garland and his broken tusk what is uddanda is it is a shakta prayoga that is a te- technically it is a for tantric prayoga to do that one who are that is uh, the people who are suffering from black magic and witchcraft i already explained for the the uh, tamasa they use this form of ganapati to get rid of the problems which are created by these kind of black magics and also witchcraft runa mochana ganapati runa mochana ganapati is humanity's liberator from guilt and bondage his figure of alabaster skin is appareled in red silk he bears a noose and a goad his milk white tusk and a favorite fruit the rose apple runa mochana ganapati this is another form explained in the mudgala purana runa is a debt or loan mochana is a, a removal if we are in loans we are in debt so definitely we will become debtor so then what we have to do we have to get rid of this loans this debts then only we can have a free mind we can work dundi ganapati red hued dundi ganapati the sword after god holds a strand of meditation beads his broken tusk an axe and a small pot of precious gems to represent the treasury of awakenings that he saves for all his ardent devotees what we need in this busy life mechanical life 
we need peaceful life happiness by which we can get this happiness and peaceful life this is only way it is explained in the shastra that is mudgala purana by worshiping dundi ganapati we get happiness serenity and all round prosperity in the house peaceful life in the house dvimukha ganapati dvimukha ganapati called janus by the romans with two divergent faces sees in all directions his blue green form is dressed in red silk he wears a bejeweled crown and holds a noose gourd his tusk and a pot of gems the people who are all having wealth health and also happy family they need something different they try for other things that is fame recognition and also appreciation by the society for them it is said the worship of dimukha ganapati will fetch kirti yashas and prapti and other things trimukha ganapati Trimukha Ganapati the contemplative three-faced lord of red hue sits on a golden lotus holding his beads a noose a gourd and a vessel of nectar he gestures protection with the right hand and blessings with left Trimukha Ganapati is one more form explained in the Mudgala Purana the Trimukha means three faces by doing the worship of three-faced Ganapati the brilliance intelligence will improve so that's what this worship of ganapati is very important for the student simha ganapati simha ganapati white in color rides a lion and displays another lion on one hand symbolizing strength and fearlessness he also holds a wish fulfilling sprig the veena a lotus blossom a flower bouquet and a pot of jewels the people who are all elevated towards inclined towards political career or political achievements or social work they should worship this simha ganapati form if you want to become a king or king like you have to worship simha ganapati that's what we said shastra says that if you want to do something achievement in the political area political field you should opt for the worship of simha ganapati Yoga Ganapati Yoga Ganapati is absorbed in mantra meditation his knees strapped in meditative pose and hands holding a staff sugarcane stalk a noose and prayer beads his color is like the morning sun blue garments adorn his form this is one more form is explained in mudgala purana as yoga ganapati you know yoga what is yoga yoga english also they call it as yoga but yoga means in sanskrit it is unification united what we want to unite the very particular atman of us this is a individual atman should be united with the lord so that is what very important that is called moksha durga ganapati Durga Ganapati the invincible waves the flag of victory over darkness this splendid idol is of deep gold hue dressed in red holding a bow and arrow noose and gourd prayer beads broken tusk and a rose apple another form is explained in the shastra is durga ganapati here there are two words then durga and ganapati you know all durga is goddess amba ma sankatahara ganapati Sankatahara Ganapati the dispeller of sorrow is of sun like hue dressed in blue and seated on the red lotus flower he holds a bowl of pudding a gourd a noose while gesturing the boon granting varada mudra so there you have it these 32 idols are considered most powerful for worship these idols are available in the market and if they are not you can always get them made or go to a do it yourself workshop and make them with your own hands the gods will also be more impressed ram for news 9 my soul